Hi guys, happy Homebrew Wednesday for Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. Today we're going to crack open uh, a bottle that uh, Looney Larry sent me from uh, Battling Creek Brewing. Uh, it's going to be the Apocalypse. So this is the first of three that he sent me. Sorry Larry that it's taken me so long to uh, get this going, but uh, been busy with the holidays and stuff. That's why I didn't get a video out last week. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this open. Nice hiss on it. Some smoke. Smells pretty good. I don't know anything about the beer. He didn't uh, send me any information on it. And uh, as you guys know, this is only my uh, second craft beer that I've tried. So we'll go ahead and pour that into the glass here. It's a very nice beer, uh, well carbonated, uh, it's got kind of an orangey amber color to it, got a good uh, two finger head on it. it smells delicious, so uh, I'll go ahead and uh, dive in. Wow, you nailed that. That is one good beer. I really like that. Thank you for sending that to me, my friend. It's got just enough bitterness in it. The carbonation's just right there. Um, I don't really know what's in the beer. Um, Larry, if you could uh, post down below maybe a little bit about the beer. Um, that's an absolutely fantastic beer though. I'll uh, try and put a link to Larry's channel down below. Um, go check out his channel. He does some great videos guys. Um, thank you again Larry for sending that to me. Um, this is the first of three. I will be doing tastings of the other two and I look very forward to it. Okay guys, really not a whole lot uh, going on. Um, I did do a little bit of uh, um, some racking and some things getting the wine ready that uh, I'm going to give away for Christmas. So I'll go ahead and insert some a little bit of the footage here. Okay, here's our blueberry pomegranate. We started back in May. Um, I'm racking it down into a, a bucket here. We're going to, as you can see, I'm racking it down into the bucket. And... Uh, We're going to go ahead and stabilize it and then rack it back into a carboy. Stabilize it and degas it, get it ready for bottling, and then we'll uh, bottle it next week. Okay, as you can see, I've got my drill ready with my stir stick on it all sanitized in there. Um, first off, we've got to stabilize it. So we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of potassium metabisulfite. So we'll toss that down in there. And then we're going to add two and a half teaspoons of potassium sorbate. This will uh, kill off all the yeast so it can't re start re-fermentation again. So we'll go ahead and add two and a half teaspoons of that. Okay. Then we're just going to go ahead and stir it to degas it. I'll go ahead and finish this process. Okay, now that we've got it all degassed and stabilized, we're going to go ahead and rack it down into a clean carboy. And we'll let it sit for a week or so, make sure uh, no fermentation actually happens. And then we'll uh, bottle it. Okay guys, I will be uh, probably bottling that up this weekend, getting it ready to go for uh, to hand out for Christmas during Christmas week. Uh, it's a 
blueberry pomegranate wine. So uh, hopefully friends and family enjoy that. Um, I did find these little uh, cases to put them in. So that'll be kind of neat to uh, give the bottles away in a, in a nice little Christmassy bag there. As I'm sure you guys are uh, very busy too during the holiday season, I've been uh, very busy the last couple of weeks making uh, some candy. I made some uh, Kahlua with my mom. Um, if you guys are interested in uh, learning how to make some Kahlua, um, drop me a line and uh, maybe we can put a video together to do that. Um, also, you know, visiting with friends and family and, and uh, all those things. So it's been a really busy couple weeks. Probably a couple more weeks are going to be busy with the cup with the holidays coming up. Um, I'm not sure I'll get a video up over the next couple weeks, but I will try. I haven't had a chance to watch too many videos the last uh, week or so. Uh, I'm going to try and catch up on those maybe over the weekend. So uh, I look forward to watching those and uh, the videos you guys put up this week. Um, that's really about all I've got. Uh, I don't have a lot going on uh, brew wise for the next couple weeks with the holidays and everything um, So I want to wish everyone uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in case I uh, don't get a video out until after And I'd like to send out a special thanks to Larry for uh, sending me the beer great job, man and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone and remember there's always time for a glass of wine. Cheers <laughs>